Over the years, our family's had a share of health problems. So prescriptions are a part of our life. Before we went to the big box store. We both thought it would help us save. But with the long lines and impersonal service, filling prescriptions became a chore. That's when a friend recommended DNH. Now Tristan knows our prescriptions. Brenda always helps us find the right vitamins. And after Dad's fall, Monica's been a real expert with all our home medical needs, all without the lines. Trust and service. That's our DNH. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, June the 12th. We're going to talk about the stars and the planets. And Val Gurman is with us today. And you might want to watch this segment online because we've got some wonderful pictures. You can go to kbia.org and then click on Radio Friends and take a look at the pictures that we got. Welcome, Val. Good to have you here. Thank you for having you me. You got, what, nine? Is it nine or ten? Seven, Im seven images seven. today. Okay. Now, let's start with the very first one, and you took this. This is of the moon. Right, right. And uh, the moon has been spectacular this year. And this uh, picture, there's, uh, there are two features on the moon that you can see exactly at first quarter called the X and the V on the moon. The X and, I, and the V? I happened to get them uh, in April, July 4th. When you're sitting in the stadium for the fireworks on July 4th, uh -huh. take your binoculars and look up at the moon, and you'll see that V. It's right in the middle of the moon. There's like a V that shows up right okay, at first quarter. Now, uh, it's going to be the, the moon in July 4th will be first quarter. Yes. So look at the moon, and you will see a V. Right in the middle. The it's like a ghostly V. It shows up. I, it's shocking. I, uh, I'm okay. amazed. And look at it online uh, at kbia.org. Now, the next picture right. that we have is... Okay, now this, we have three big planets, in the, or three bright planets in the sky right now, and I want to invite people to come to Laws. We're open 8 to 10 every Wednesday right through the summer. We're going to be showing Jupiter, Saturn, and Mars most of the way. And this image shows the relative scale of Jupiter, Saturn, and Mars to the Earth. Okay. That's Earth now, on the left. The, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, it, and if you, if you watch this online, kbia.org, then Radio Friends, and you'll see what we're talking about. The Earth is very, very tiny compared to uh, Jupiter and uh, Saturn. 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 Very tiny. And, and Mars, Mars is even is, tinier. Yeah, it looks like a little dime there in the it's sky. Like a little tiny thing. But these are actual photographs through the telescopes, right? Right. Now, these are, some of these are Hubble shots. The one on the right is a Hubble image of Saturn. But, yeah, they're telescopic. I mean, those, those look like science fiction, what right. you would see in a science fiction movie. But in fact, it is reality, is what's right. out there. And amazingly enough, you know, we're getting pictures from uh, people in our astronomy club that are, you'll see in a minute, are on the same class as these, which okay. is hard to believe. This next one The is... next one is taken by a recent MU grad named Fritz Lahn. He uh, was a member of our astronomy group, photographed here for years. Take, he lives in Albuquerque now. And he took this picture about a month ago of Jupiter. Now, get this. This was taken with an amateur telescope. Uh, and that shows the red spot there on the right and mm -hmm. one of the moons. That's Io, one of the Jupiter's moons. So if you're looking, if you go to, go to the KBIA website and look at this, you'll see Jupiter. You'll see the red spot on the right side. And you'll see one of the moons right. out to the left. Out to right? the left. Now, at our telescope. There's another spot on, on the. That's the shadow of that moon. Well, that's the shadow of the moon. The moon, shadow of the moon. Now, we're going to be able to show some of these. Uh, if you come down to Laws, uh, the first month from now until about a month from now, Jupiter in our telescopes, well, you can see. Will that, look pretty much like this picture? Um, it will look a lot like that. It'll look, it'll look more white, black and white, but you can see the fine detail. It shows up. Okay, the next one that we have. Now, this is uh, kind of a scary thing for us uh, planetary people. The Jupiter's red spot is shrinking rapidly right now. Why is that happening? They don't know. And everybody's going, no, it can't happen. because well, What is the red spot? Well, it's sort of a mystery. It's some kind of a storm system on Jupiter that Jupiter's atmosphere works sort of the opposite of the Earth. The energy comes up from underneath. You know, energy comes from the sun here on Earth. It does heat the lower atmosphere. Energy on Jupiter comes from inside Jupiter and, and then goes up through the atmosphere. So it's a cyclone powered from underneath, and it's weakening. And uh, I hope it doesn't go away. It'll be sad. Well, probably not in your lifetime or my lifetime. I hope not. All right. The next one that we have. 
Okay, now this is Mars. This is my friend Fritz Lott out in Albuquerque. He sent me three great shots. Now, when I'm looking at this picture, and I hope that our listeners will go to the KBIA website, and watch, this is a little bit out of focus, but it looks like the planet Earth. It looks blue. Mars is frighteningly like the Earth in a telescope. And you can see the ice caps on the poles. You see them, the two ice caps? Uh, we've been able to show Mars at laws. You can see the polar caps through our telescopes visually. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like this. Like this. Now, it's very tiny. The next image, Shanna, shows you the way Mars is very tiny visually. Uh, we can put pretty high power on Mars. It's still small. But it looks, it looks like a miniature of the Earth. People are quite taken aback by it. It, 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 they go, what am I looking at? You'll say, well, that's Mars. They go, no, it's the Earth. No, no, that's Mars. It is uh, very dramatic in the telescope. We got that all summer. Wow. We got okay. Mars all summer. Uh, so if you want to see Mars live in person through the telescope, right. you go down to Laws Observatory a any Wednesday night from 8 o'clock till 10 o'clock. 8 to 10. Is there a waiting line uh, to, to be able to look through the telescope? During the summer, we sometimes will have a bit of a crowd, but no, generally not much of a wait. Okay. In the summertime, we're, we're uh, free and clear. Okay, so if you get there around quarter to eight or so? I would say the best time for Mars right now is about 8.45 to, to the end. Okay. A little okay. bit later after we open. All right. Uh, what else have you got now? Oh, ah, here, Saturn. And also, we're going to be showing Saturn all summer. Saturn's rings are tipped as far out as they can go. So when you look at Saturn right now, you see the spectacular image of Saturn that people expect to see with the rings all the way tipped toward the Earth. So this picture is taken... My friend Fritz Lahn took this from Albuquerque just about three and a half weeks ago. You and know, this it's, is the it's, way it's, it looks. It, it's almost unbelievable that we're looking at these objects that are so far away from here on planet Earth. Is there one more picture left? No, I think this is our last one. I really want to ever invite people to come down and look at Saturn because that picture... He hasn't got his, re he's going to send me his refined vision, version, which I'll have next time. Saturn looks like a jewel in the sky. People are quite taken with Saturn. Okay. The most so, beautiful of all the planets. So you come out, uh, Laws Observatory, any Wednesday between 8 o'clock in the evening and 10 o'clock in the evening. Right. And about how much time does each person, are they able to spend looking through the telescope? Uh, well, people get as long as they need. Could be a minute. Uh, and what we like people to do, we like to change the power and have people come back through more than once. Uh, if you haven't looked through a high-powered telescope before, uh, it really helps to look at it. And then at low power, then we'll, it, the line usually isn't too long. You can go back around, come back the second time, look at it again at higher okay. power. All right. It um, and the, the, the second or third time through, you see more. All right. Val, thank you so much for coming by, and we'll see you later on this summer. Okay. Absolutely. Good to have you here. Uh, let's see. Our program directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Lowell Thomas and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mouser. Tomorrow, Larry Brown will be with us. Go out and have a nice rest of the morning and afternoon. Be nice to each other. Bye-bye.